Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to The Fragrant Bunker. Today we're gonna talk about the top five perfumes for the month of February, 2023. But first, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also join me on Patreon for extra perks, Super Jacob, all spelled together there. Thank you to my patrons who've already pledged. Listen, February this year is a shorter month than it usually is, right? Because once every four years, it's a bit longer. So there's like less time to enjoy these fragrances <laughs> before the month is over. So I'm thinking, what is the most intense experience for, I mean, we're not talking about many days longer or shorter, right? I mean, usually the longest month is 31 days, the shortest is 28 days. So we're just talking about a couple of days here, but still February just runs by you and you don't even realize it's over. Coincidentally, that happens to me with every month, really, because also the older you get and the more fast, the faster the time just passes. But February is particularly speedy. So how do we get the best out of February? So also in most parts of the world that kind of, well, not most parts of the world, but, you know, the northern hemisphere sees... February is a very cold month. It is the highest form of winter. The more north you go, the colder it gets. Now, of course, if you're in Australia, you got summer happening right now. But for the Northern Hemisphere, add the fact that it's a really cold climate at the moment to the fact that it's a short month. Like you want it to pass quick. You want spring to come, but you also want to feel, you know, the warmth even in the cold time. So what do you do? Well, I have rediscovered a love of mine from the past, and that would be Egoist by Chanel. Now, this is the current formula, right? I have batch code 7902 here, but also uh, I have here an older batch. Uh, this is 1001, so this one, I don't know, but this one's like over 10 years old, I think, at this point. But um. I love Egoist, okay? Now, I haven't really dedicated much time to it in these past few years, just because, you know, I love my OG and I didn't really like the new formula. But then <clears throat> I've recently tested out this one and it's kind of smokier than it used to be. I'm really, really enjoying the current formula of Egoist. And it is warm, not too warm. It's just the right amount of warm to keep you going through February. It's just so beautiful. And it's a promise of spring somehow in its smell. Usually it's a perfume that I would like to kind of wear, or I usually like to wear right before the holiday season, because it does smell of, well, Christmas in a way. I know not everybody celebrates Christmas, but it has a particular smell. This is very holiday season smell. Now in the current formula, unlike the older version, the older version is a little bit more spicy. The current formula has a lighter smokiness to it. You might say, oh, they've literally just um, watered it down yet again. But to me, it works in the current formula. And it lasts on me. It's not gone in 10 minutes. So beautiful for February. Warm just enough. Pleasant future vibes also happening. Love it. This is number one. Number two. Crazy to choose this one for number two because this one was targeted as a perfume for summer like literally on the beach. Now, since I spent a lot of time on the beach lately, um, I've enjoyed this one a lot, but I'm still loving it now, now that I'm back in colder climates. And I gotta say, something about this perfume, <laughs> it's just so good um, in the colder months as well as in warmer months. And that would be Eau du Basilique Pourpre, the purple basilicum or basil, purple basil from Hermès in its Eau de Cologne concentration. Gorgeous. People are complaining that it doesn't last long on their skin. On me, it lasts and lasts and lasts. It's, I don't have problem with longevity. It's a beauty. It gives me the right amount of warm and cold. You know, it's I can see this incredibly well in summer, but in winter, it's just such a beautifully balanced naturally smelling perfume. It just, it smells sophisticated, light, but it has just the right amount of depth and woodsy accords in it to, to just give it harmony. 
And it's a harmony that I'm lacking and that I'm craving for in February. So it, it kind of balances me out. It, it relaxes me. It soothes me. I love it. And it's not like I'm, you know, I've been purchasing a ton of, uh, the, of the Hermès colognes. You know, I only have two. My favorite one of all time is Eau de Gentian Blanche. And then the other one would be this one. Uh, I literally only ever bought two of their colognes. So we got Eau de Basilic Pourpre. Mm, delicious. Uh, and it's been released in 2022. So it's been around less than a year as I'm doing this review. So it's a relatively new perfume. I enjoy it a lot. It's a great winter scent, even though it's been marketed as a summer fragrance. The next one I've been really enjoying so much now. And I know it's often one of my in my top five, but uh, oh, well, <laughs> what can I say? Here it is. I just decided to lift the snow globe, you know, <laughs> from uh, the Chanel uh, beauty boutique uh, as a gift to uh, customers. So this is a Chanel number no. five Parfum bottle in a snow globe. Isn't it gorgeous? So I got this as a gift from Chanel, but uh, obviously I purchased my Chanel number no. five uh, Parfum. So the extra, okay, of Chanel number no. five, it's just giving and giving and giving. In fact, I'm wearing it right now. This is the perfume I'm wearing today also, coincidentally. I'm just, I don't know, it hits the spot for me this month. Um, why? I don't know. Maybe maybe because I have so much to do this month and it's been really a tough month and I have the premiere of uh, um, of my movie happening, uh, Art Lovers Unite with Vivian Westwood, and it's not at a film festival this time. It is uh, in a cinema where, you know, the coordination falls on the creators because there's no film festival to help you. So it's been so stressful <laughs> and there's so much money involved, you know, in terms of like investment that I am in anxiety mode all the time. And I'm feeling that, by the way, the movie is going to premiere uh, in Germany, uh, in Berlin at the Babylon uh, cinema in, in the center of town. And um, so I will be traveling there. So www.artloversunite.com is the website. You click on screenings, you can book your tickets. I will be there for the Q&A session. So I think that Chanel number no. five is giving me that stability that I need to get through the anxiety because I tend to wear Chanel number no. five when I'm anxious. It calms me down. It relaxes me. It makes me feel like everything will be okay. So I think that's particularly the reason why this month Chanel number no. five is like really my savior. So that's my number three. Um, number four would be another one that grounds me and gives me good vibes. Beautiful for the cold weather. Number four is Shalimar Extra, the Parfum of Shalimar. Now, it's the vanilla. I mean, there's a lot of beautiful ingredients in here, right? But uh, it's that Guerlinade combo that we get that just soothes the soul, you know, and it, and Shalimar and its extra uh, formula uh, concentration is just so delicate, soft and smooth. And uh, it just, it's, it's harmonious, right? It's there, there's a harmony here that just lets you relax. So it relaxes me. It calms me down. Chanel number no. five tells me everything is going to be okay. Shalimar kind of prepares me for that everything is going to be okay. Shalimar is more like, calm down, calm down. It's all good. It's all good. So uh, in the extra form, concentration, it has to be the parfum. The other concentrations are a little bit screechier. Still love them too, but it's the parfum that gives me that balance that I need. It's really, really beautiful. So that's my number four. And this rarely happens, but my number five for this month is the same uh, fragrance that I, well, the same. I've selected this perfume as my top five for January as well. So I rarely kind of repeat a perfume, or let's just say rarely does one perfume captivate me so much for two months in a row. Well, this one did it. This one did it. This one did it. Big time. Bois des Îles. Bois des Îles Eau de Parfum is back in February. It was here in January. It's back in February. 
obsessed. Obsessed. I just, um, I even have the 75 mil and I traveled with it. I use the 75 for travel. Also used up a lot of that bottle. And uh, now that I'm back in the fashion bunker, I'm using up my 200 mil. I do prefer the shape of the 200 mil bottles. There's just something more tactile about them. I wish I could fly uh, with them as well. I might just risk it for my next trip because I'm scared of putting these into the suitcase, you know, the 200 mils, because I don't want it to get stolen and stuff. I want to take them as a carry on. But for my next trip, I might just risk it and put it into the suitcase because I don't know, there's just something about how good it makes me feel to have the 200 mil bottle with me. I'll keep you posted, but uh, I'm probably going to take the 200 mil next time I, I fly. Um, I don't know. It just makes me feel so good. <laughs> uh, anyway, the sandalwood, the aldehydes, the, the delicate nuances of sunsets. Oh my gosh. Again, another one that just calms me down and makes me feel so good. Beautifully sophisticated. It's like a more woody version of Chanel Number no. 5 with more woodsy complexities happening in it. They're both aldehyde bombs, right? Number 22 would be the most aldehydic of the bunch, but Bois des Iles, when it gets a little bit older, the aldehydes kind of bubble up more to the surface. So truth be told, this is maybe also why I'm obsessing so much with this one, because it's a brand new batch. I just unboxed it a month ago. 7401 is the batch. I love Bois des Iles when it's brand new, when it still hasn't absorbed all that oxygen. Um, unfortunately, when it's that new, it also doesn't last as long on the skin, right? But it's less aldehydic when it's brand new. Pardon me, to my nose at least. So, But when it ages a little bit, it gets more heft and the aldehydes become more prominent. Uh, so let's say one year in or five months into having the perfume and using it, it, it's darker. I personally love it when it's lighter, when there's less of the aldehydes in it. And so... Hence why I'm so obsessed with it for two months in a row, because it's brand new and it's, it's lighter in the beginning. And that's why I just want to use it as long as I can until it starts darkening. And then I'll start using it less. I have the feeling maybe that's one of the reasons why I'm so obsessed with it right now. Nothing like a fresh batch of Bois des Iles. Oh my gosh. Richness, honey. Opulence. But never over the top. Those would be my top five perfumes for the month of February 2023. Let me know your top five and what you think about my selection in the comment section down below. And until next time, never give up on love and subscribe.